Shushmita, when she when we saw her in the pageant, she didn't look, you know, the typical model type. She had different characteristics of her own. What did you think of her when you first saw her? Well, to be very frank, we didn't see Sushmita till she went. She was there, but she was not there. We were focusing on a whole lot of other people. Ash was one. Komal Rampal was another, who was, again, very beautiful, very delicate, though not well known. Uh, there were three or four others, and they seemed to be the main contenders. Sushmita was there, but not there. And it was only when she won, we said, oh, wow, look at this. <laughs> what do you think, Meera? I think it was determination. I think it was a star quality that she possesses, which uh, is like a diamond. You turn it in one facet and it really blinds you. And at the rest of the time, it's glowing quietly within itself. Um, even in Miss Universe pageant, um, she she stood out, you know. She, and we, when, when we see the pageant, she was also very, very um, unlike a model. She's always fidgeting, you know, putting up a sash. I think she has deep insecurities because of whatever, you know. There are some deep insecurities in her. You know, when a girl is tall in India, she's constantly told, you're like a camel, you know, people keep telling you that there's something wrong with you. It's only today that girls aspire to be tall and graceful so that must be one thing the second thing is that she's not fair so that could be something else that went you know against her people might have pointed out that you cannot be called beautiful you're not fair so i think there are these very hidden insecurities in her but what works for her and surmounts these obstacles that could come in the way of her personality growth is the fact that she is an amazingly bright intellect she has a sense of repartee. She has a sense of knowing what to say at the right time. She sparkles. She has a wit. She has a command over language. And she's daring. She's a complete adventurer. She will go where no other woman has gone before. And I think all that works for her. Uh, even in, uh, you know, in the in Miss in the Universe pageant, what, what do you think just got her out there and she won it? Well, I've heard it from her herself, and I think I've written about it many times over, that she said that she was determined to get somewhere and be noticed because she felt she had it. But she was worried about the swimsuit round because she knew that was the acid test for her. She was too thin, she was too tall, her legs and hands were too lanky, and she worried about those hands even when she went for Miss Universe. But she went and she said, my arms are too skinny. If I pass the swimsuit round, nothing's going to stop me. So she says she took a deep breath and she just went for it. And when she was, when she finished the swimsuit round, she was number 30, 28 or something. She was right at the bottom. But she said, I made it. You know, I made it to the next round. And when she went there, she said, now I'm going to show them. And she just, and that every time she made a round, the confidence just piled on. And then she became who she really was. Her personality came through. While preparing her for Miss Universe, was anything special? I told you nobody noticed her. I mean, I didn't. I, I honestly and sincerely wonder how I could have been so blind. For Miss India pageant? Yes. And uh, then when she went on for Miss Universe? Miss Universe, I remember, I very clearly remember her worrying about her arms and uh, coming and telling me uh, that I need to, she used to go to Ramabans and Ramabans used to work on weights to help her, you know, build up her arms. And she said, you know, when I stand there, I look like a spider. And I said, don't be silly. You know, you're, you're so graceful. And then she said, and I'm dark, and I'm too tall, and I have black eyes and black hair, and how am I going to look among all those lovely blonde, blue-eyed women? I said, look, when you look at 25 blonde, blue-eyed women, they all look the same. One dark-haired woman standing, sure of herself being different, is going to get noticed. And she said, ha, huh, that's a nice way of looking at it. <laughs> so, you see, I mean, those insecurities keep popping up, but she surmounted them. Um, you, do you think she has proved to be an aspiration for women across the country, you know, women at the... Absolutely. When she won, it was like a message to every Indian woman. If she can do it, I can. She inspired me. You know, when we went for our press conference, this is another story I've told very often. 
no, not to camera, but when she went for the press conference, we had the hall full. I mean, in Delhi, I remember I was nervous. I had to introduce her. I had to welcome the press as the editor of the magazine. And she sat there and the press asked her every question under the sun in every language because there were the Hindi press trying to say, to Miss India, Bharat se bani ho. Hindi mein bol sakti ho ki nahi. There was the Bengali press saying, you're a bong, you better speak my language. So there was everybody and she just tuck, 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 tuck. She would charm them. If she didn't have an answer, she would mystify them. She would take it and throw the question back at them and ask them another question back. They loved her. They were eating out of her hands. They came. Some of them were hostile when they came. By the time they left, they could have stood up and clapped. And I stood there and I had introduced her with nervousness because I was not used to speaking in public. Watching this little girl here, all of 18 or 19, I'm saying, what am I doing? Looking scared when she can handle it, I can. I actually learned to speak in public watching her. Um, what we've known of her, what we've seen of her, we, we know her as this woman today, as someone who has lived life on her own terms. Um, do you think she's a ro role model for women like her? I don't think people look at her as a role model beyond uh, for the fact that she lives life on her own terms. Unfortunately, people are not that mature. They see glamour and they want glamour. Uh, uh, so I don't think people look at her as a role model for being offbeat or for doing what she wants with her life. I don't see 100 other single women going and adopting young children or little girls and looking after them. I think they look at glamour, they look at fame, they look at the money she got for being who she was, they look at the film offers and say, that's what we want. So, it's sad, because if they follow her uh, crusading spirit, if they follow the fact that she is fearless in saying, this is what I want and this is how I'm going to get it, and especially when it's to help somebody else, that would be a great example.